So the, the Marine Corps came to us with a problem um, they needed solved. Uh, is there a way to protect the top of the vehicle um, that, that is lightweight, uh, affordable, you know, technology that uh, we can actually achieve? And um, they've approached our center because we have the expertise in, in smoke and obscurance. So we are essentially the Army's research arm for uh, smoke and obscurance. Um, so they approached us because we have that expertise in the area. We have the, the technology. Uh, we also have access to the, the range here, which is a very unique capability. Um, as well as the instrumentation in order to measure it. Uh, obscure tests have been going on for quite some time, but uh, in, the, in the 70s, 80s, even earlier, it was more of uh, an observer would look and say, yes, this looks good, or it, it doesn't. We've since moved on from that to utilize you know, science and technology in a, in a more quantitative way. Today, we saw uh, the vehicle launch uh, smoke grenade dischargers or launchers were uh, oriented on top of this Connex container. Uh, we loaded these grenades in uh, and we pressed the button and when we pressed the button these grenades uh, were deployed from the tubes they were launched into the air and they created a cloud um, and we measured this cloud from above like i, I was describing earlier with the uav uh, and we're going to post process that data in partnership with the georgia tech research institute it's important to the center's mission because we have a, a long history of aerosol science um, expertise so uh, we have a multidisciplinary team of uh, physicists, uh, chemical engineers, mechanical engineers, aerosol scientists, uh, all here at the center that have come together in order to uh, you know, make this test as successful as it can be. So we're leveraging a lot of core aerosol science capabilities in a, in a test like this.